the position to which you have just elected me is a new one. And I shall take office on the 1st of January 2010. The Lisbon Treaty wanted to instill greater continuity and coherence in the work of the European Council of Heads of State and Government. Six monthly presidencies had the advantage of involving all 27 member states in the work of the Union. The disadvantage was, was, a, lack of, was a lack of perspective. It's my firm intention to ensure that our work develops over a long-term period. A perspective that goes beyond six months will allow us to be better organized where the major multi-annual dossiers are concerned, such as the financial perspectives and the Lisbon strategy. I also think that going back to our roots in the European Council could help us to discuss from time to time, in an, an informal and open way, the big questions of the European project. I'm thinking more specifically of the economic and social agenda, and this is a particularly urgent matter because of the environmental and energy challenges we face and, our, and the aspiration, aspirations we have for greater security and justice for all our fellow citizens. We're living through exceptionally difficult times. The financial crisis and its dramatic impact on employment and budgets, the climate crisis which threatens our very survival. A period of anxiety, uncertainty and lack of confidence. Yet these problems can be overcome by a joint effort in our, and between our countries. 2009 is also the first year of global governance with the establishment of the G20 in the middle of the financial crisis. The climate conference in Copenhagen is another step towards the global management of our planet. Our mission, our presidency, is one of hope, supported by acts and by deeds.